righty. Thank you. Day. We have these open classes. We're doing uh, some free classes, so they'll be here for you and uh, for you to go back to and listen to at any time. And welcome. We're so happy and delighted you're here. We're still in a pandemic, if you haven't heard, so we just have a few people in the studio, all nice and distant and doing our thing. We welcome you so much. We have Brandy Mizilka Hubiak on the controls over here. And she's our Asheville uh, Rhythm and Social Media Queen, too. And you always hear her and hear from her through all the various outlets, outlets, and you know what they are. We have Rima Luna out there, our community outreach coordinator. Thank you to Rima. And she's out in the woods and checking in and like a hawk and making sure everything is cool and all the channels are clear. And in the studio, we have Carrie. And we have our wonderful, wonderful other person in Asheville Rhythm, Trish the Groot. She's all masked up and ready to go. So this today's class, our usual level one class, are a lot of people, it's maybe it's their first time or two, but a lot of people actually have been playing for a long time who come to the level one class. You des- they use it as a warm-up into the level two class, or maybe just somebody's been playing for a few weeks or a few months or a few years. You know, Trish's been playing for 30 years, but she loves to come to the level one class. And today we're going to really take it back and do it like as if it's your first time in a beginner. So we'll get back into our tones and strokes and rhythm building blocks, uh, uh, some of our cell patterns, a couple of pieces that you'll have some background music and melodic tracks happening while we drum. So we're excited to share all of that with you. But very, very first and foremost, the first thing we do before we start drumming is to set an intention, get centered, in, centered inside of yourself. We'll just do a little visualization. So please, just as you are able, Just sit in your chair and just focus on the breath, taking in a few deep breaths. As you inhale, just feel yourself expand, specifically your spinal column, visualizing all the spaces between each vertebrae. And as you exhale, just relaxing all your muscles and your cartilage and everything that's attached to your bones and fluids and electricity, just kind of relaxing onto your nice, strong core and skeletal system. And with each intake, you're just getting a little bit taller. And try to make your exhalations as long as your inhalations. And, it's c- and I'll be asking you to focus in on the breath as things go along. So how do we get sound into all of the pads on our fingers? Just imagine your root, like a nice ball, maybe the size of a grapefruit or something, just at your root. And as you're breathing in, feeling it expand, it could be any color of light you like, and then slowly there's a cable coming out of that, kind of weaving itself through the spinal column. And you feel the curves and the spaces in your spinal column. And then imagine that going to the base of your neck, branching out into your 
shoulders. And when you get to your shoulders, just visualize two balls of energy. And then going down through the arms and into your elbows, another golf ball of energy. Down into your forearms and into your wrists, and another golf ball of energy there. And these three, these six sockets are crucial as energy moves through them from your back. We're going to focus on those as we move and drum through. Then a little marble size energy at each joint in each finger. Three on each finger and two in the thumbs. There's 14 in each hand, 28 all together, plus these six. So you can imagine those from here going up and just lighting up. Just imagine everything lighting up and all the points in between that connect them. One more deep breath, and can you visualize all those points? Imagine standing from in front of you as you're sitting in space, or from behind, or a few feet from each side, top and bottom. Imagine what you look like and feel like. And then from your core, just imagine two more going down through the thighs, into your knees, balls of energy at your knees, ankles, soles of the feet, down to the center of the planet, and then back up, circulating all the way up back to here, and then back into your fingertips. All happening at microseconds. And as you, what's going to happen, you're going to want to hunch over as we start playing, whether you're playing a doombag, a djembe, a frame drum. I'm going to focus a lot on the frame drum today, and Brandy's available in the chat, so anytime you have any questions or so, you can ask her. She might be able to answer them. If not, just she'll ask me, and then we'll get to it. All right? And do a jiggle in your hips so that your shoulders just kind of relax and just fall through and feel those six sockets. How do they... What is the motion that's happening now? And you can feel them almost like a turning of the doorknob motion doing this, and then they all have a wave-like motion also. Now, you're not moving it from your shoulder. You're not using the energy in your shoulder. You're letting energy move from your lower back into your fingertips as you do this. Then pretend you're going to throw a ball, right, and or cracking a whip, and do it with both hands because you'll tend to do it just with the, the lead hand, right? And how does that feel like? And you feel that... From here to here, there's a connection, what those connections feel like. And as we play a stroke on the drum, whether it's a drum playing this way, we're going to feel that wave-like motion as we pull the sound from the drum. We're never going to be banging, striking, hitting. We're going to use a different language and pulling the sound out, bouncing from the drum. Before we apply it to the drum, let's see what it feels like if you just drop that. If you put your hands on your laps, can you relax these six sockets? Right? So if you jig a little bit, because this is the part where it gets hard, because how do you touch a surface while still maintaining the other joints to be relaxed, okay? And then we're going to just drop our hands and then just pull them back. We're not hitting again. We're just dropping and then dragging and then lifting and making kind of like a tractor wheel thing or a, a flattened ellipse. And just that way. And I'm, notice my fingertips are the last things to come up. And then they come down this way, and I'm leading also down with the wrist. In slow motion, I'm actually going like, Oh, I'm doing that wave thing. It, there it is, right? While we do that, let's, do, let's add something too. Let's go into our first thing that we do, which is our rhythm building blocks. And our rhythm building blocks start with a pulse. Imagine yourself as like five layers of a building, and the first thing is a pulse, and that's just your spinal column going up and down. And then we go from one side to the other. So for this, I'll play it on the bass drum on one and three, and then the wood block on two and four, okay? So that, so that there's two things, the pulse, the size of the body, the count, which I said was one, two, three, four. So that's the third level. At any point, you could cycle in through them, three, four. And let's do those quarter notes just like that. So let's go back to this. So you have our, our rhythm and our pulses happening, and we're going to get into the subdivisions, but also you're understanding how to use the energy in your body, right? One, two, three, four. Awesome. So now that you get that and you feel like you got that, let's do the bounce at the same tempo. That's a lot of space. Uh, ta, 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 ta. So from the side, it might look like this, right? It's not like this. It's a full da 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 dun 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 two da 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 three da 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 four. Ta. Good. So that's those are the three levels. And the subdivisions are next. If you look on the sheet there, you'll see eighth notes is when your first subdivisions and first think it going one and two and three and four, and one, and two, and three. Now let's play that alternating going one, and two, and three, and four, and. So my feet are going twice as slow, right? If you can't do your feet, don't worry about it. It's more important to do the hands. And I'm bouncing, lifting, bouncing, lifting, bouncing, lifting, bouncing, lifting. One, and two, and three, and four, and. All right? Now the next thing you can see after that is a triplet. 
So let's actually just go that. Let's just go up the, the scale that way. So the pulses and the count's gonna say the same, those three things, but we're gonna shift into a triplet field, right? Dun, 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 dun. Let's play that one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four trip. Now each hand is with the start of the, the foot, too. Da, da. Right, you can go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, da, 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 da. But you could also start with the other hand. You can go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So whatever suits you and whatever hand is dominant, but you should be able to do all of them. You could also go like this. Tech, 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 ka, ka, ka. Or right, 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 left, left, left. Where's our count? You still remember? One, t t two, t t three. T t one more. And now let's go to 16th notes, which is doubles of eighth notes. And here we go. They go. Teka, 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 teka. The pulse is the same, but you're playing 16th notes. One E and a two E. Now still lift your sternum up. Focus on your breath. Relax your shoulder blades back. Let's breathe in for four counts, like in. Breathe out. That's it, one more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Now what if you want to double that and go to 32nd notes for a second? Each hand would just do the 16th notes. Dun, 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 dun. This is not on the sheet, but let's do it, because you're so brave. One, da, 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 two, da. And then we're going to stagger them and do eights per subdivision. One more. Ready and stop. And just relax the hands for a second. Just shake them out. Really focus on these three things being loose. By lifting this up, moving it back, focusing on your core and and your root and making sure that your feet are grounded as you play the, the feet. You don't have to play the feet, but it just adds one more element. So all those elements are going together. On the bottom of that page, the fifth element would be playing like a melody, right? And this one might, we, we'll, we'll check this one a little bit. So if I'm going, pulse, feet, count, two, three, and I'm thinking 16th notes going that gear is solid, and I sing the rhythm. Doom, doom, teka pa, doom, teka pa. Is that how it's written there? Doom, doom, teka pa, doom, teka pa. It's all happening. Doom, doom, teka pa, doom, teka pa. Right? Doom, doom, teka pa, doom. But I'm feeling and teka, 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 pa, teka, 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 teka. So on, whatever you play, it will be right because you're swinging in the groove, feeling all the supple bubble vision. Teka 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 tek. So it's all there, feeling all that stuff. Let's get into our tones. So if you're playing a lap style drum, you put it on your lap this way. If Put it on your non-dominant lap, just behind the knee. Don't have it parallel to your torso. It kind of tucks in a little bit this way, okay? You put the flesh of your thumb at 12 o'clock on the tippy top, just like that. You're not holding it, you're just balancing it, okay? You take the first knuckle down here where it meets the palm of the hand and you reach over this way. Try to flatten this out without being stiff. And then we're gonna lift this this way. And we'll get into playing that sound, but right now you're just going to do that. And sometimes we're going to play this way. We'll get that's going to be the ka sound. But you have to know that this hand par part of its gig is to just make sure the fall, the drum doesn't fall on the floor. All right. Your lead hand, as you felt that dropping, how do you get that drop into this? So you do that by th throwing the drum in there. But first we're going to rub the skin. So rub the skin of your drum. So she's taking her middies off. That's good. Then there's a string through the middle of your elbow, going through the middle of the wrist, through the middle finger, through the center, and it's coming evenly that way, tilting towards your sternum a little bit. And as you throw the hand into the drum, you pull it out. And you put that first pad right there, so all four pads of the four fingers right on the inside, and then pull out, leading with the wrist. That's it, bouncing, bouncing. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Getting as big of a tone as you can. I call this my red tone. We have three primary colors. This can be your red tone. And you can just spend all day doing this. This is like one of the hardest tones, but it's really the root of everything. You can also use your thumb like this. A lot of people do, especially if your drum is 16 inches or smaller. And that's just rotating the forearm that way. So you're actually rotating from bar far back as we were doing it this way. Right, I'm using the whole thumb, especially the, the bottom part of it, but all of it, halfway between the center and the edge. And very center, a little dry sound, edge a little too high pitched, but still that dark sound this way. You could also use the top of the fingers, all four fingers this way, kind of where the finger top meets the, the nail, not the finger pads because you get a flat sound that way. And sometimes we'll, so it's kind of just coming this way, you can see or you could just do the index finger or the middle finger, a variety of fingers that way. And sometimes you'll just do with a ring finger when we're playing handheld, right? We'll do it this way. And you can see I'm just throwing it, I'm just rotating that ring finger in it. And if you're a handheld player, you'll rotate on the thumb this way, not so much this way, because you gotta be able to get the speed that way and so on. So that's our doom sound. And we'll get into those together. We'll put all our sounds together. You pull out this way, you'll get our tech sound, and tech is a high pitch sound. And there's more explanation on these on our website. There's the one called Tones and Strokes. There's a whole 10 minute one called Rhythm Building Blocks. And there's one on the visualizations. So you could always tune into those to really get some more practice in those. So I'll go through these ones on the quicker side, but enough to give you time to do them. So that's these three fingers, but tech can be played with any of the pads, and it's basically the center of the top of the pad right there right there right where the skin meets the wood right and then you could isolate the fingers you could do the ring finger that's a very common finger to use for that and i'm really pulling the sound out and i have to be really quick to get that high ringy sound how about the middle finger okay or you could use the index finger when i'm using the index finger i tend to throw it in this way with with the thumb remember when we did the thumb this way it's the same energy that uses the index finger that way you're just turning it in this way Right? Feel that? Watch. If you do the thumb this way, and then you pull the thumb out, and then just do the index finger, the majority of the, the counterweight for the index finger is happening in the thumb, 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 thumb. And then you can pull it out to the edge, and then you get a nice ringy sound. And we can spend a lot of time working on, on the, the, the fingers, but one, uh, just a quick thing to do. If some of you have been playing, it's not your first time. We can do a tech sound by playing the ring. Sorry, pinky, ring, middle, index. And I use piano fingering, one, two, three, four, five, so it would be five, four, three, two, and just do that over and over. At first, I love to practice this one where you put all the pads into the drums. So it would be five, four, three, two. And you just let the finger flop in there and then just pull it out with the wrist. It's pinky, ring, middle, index. I'm pulling, pulling out. Notice I pull out my wrist first. Pinky, ring, middle, index, pinky, ring, and really exaggerate the stroke at this point because you could play this in quadruple time if you want. Let's put two strokes on each finger like this, pinky, pinky, ring, ring, middle, middle, index, index, pinky, pinky, ring, ring. Use your energy from your back and your full arm, right? We're not just digitizing like that, uh-uh-uh, it's not like a typewriter that way. You're throwing energy from your back because you need the power. You gotta use move. You don't want your wrist to get hot or any of your knuckles to get hot. Disperse the energy all the way to your back. One more. Pinky, pinky, ring, ring. How about three for each one like this? Pinky, 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 ring, 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 middle, 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 index, index, index. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two. That's it. Pinky, 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 ring, 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 middle, 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 index, index, index. One more. Should we try four for pulse? Sure. Five 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 four 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 three 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 two 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 two. Pinky, ring, middle, index. Dun 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 dun. One more time. Pinky pinky pinky. And stop. And eventually you'll almost always do pinky ring middle index. And then you'll roll to, for a roll. You'll just throw them down. Pinky ring middle index. And then go to another stroke up here. We'll get that out to the second but that's how you do your rolls. It's a five stroke roll, four in this hand and one here. Sometimes it could be a four stroke, there'll just be three in here. And you could do it on the edge too. Lots and colors, you can do it dry. Lots and lots of colors. 
Okay, so lots of ways to play text. When I say tech, it could be the ring. Sometimes on Doom, it could be middle and ring. It could be the index, just whatever you're feeling at the time. That same tone on your non-dominant hand is called ka, tech and ka. Put the fingers over this way. At first, you gotta practice opening up that wrist and then just throwing this down, okay? And then how do you get that edge sound? You have to come from the side because you still wanna keep the fingers kind of straight because that's where your power lies. If you're back here, you're not gonna get the power and the strokes that you need and you throw it from here. And you have to practice that. It's like lifting up this thing here in a tenth and it's peekaboo, hello, and you walk in there. But this side stays on, the thumb is there, okay? And then you're gonna come at it this way. You can use the ring and the middle, and this is the harder stroke, all right? It could take you, make it feel like months or years before you feel adequate, adequate on that because this one's getting along. But don't worry, it's gonna happen. And you want it to double it. Ka, 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 ka. And just really feel like you're bouncing and lifting. Ka, ka. And if you play them back and forth, they should sign, sound kind of the same. You're trying to get yeah, equality of sound right between both hands. And then that would just be teka, 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 nice and bouncy, bounce and lift and bounce and lift and. There's our subdivisions are four, the pulse, the feet, the count, and the stroke going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a teka, 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 and stop. Ending with the doom, our last, and by the way, the ka, you could also do a snap. Dun, 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 you take your first knuckle over the edge, some of you can do, and, and if you don't, can do right now, don't worry about it. So, and then you take it on the, over the other side of the thumb, towards your sternum, just try to straighten it out. You don't just try to come back, and you just snap. And you just try to get that top pad right where the skin meets the wood. That's it. Snap. And then you come around. And once you get it, you can do it nice and soft. There's a, but there's a lot of volume in there. And then eventually you'll do your middle finger, so you get a double snap. You add your pinky, a triple snap. And then you could add your index finger. You can snap it over the middle finger that way. But that's for the next few levels. But just so you're inquiring, so you can do a five stroke roll that way too, from pinky, ring, middle, index, step. But don't worry, it's not just gonna happen that fast, but that's where that's the idea. So it's a whole different color world. And you can get the kind of speeds you can without having to double that. If I had to do that double, it would be really hard and I would get tired and would cramp up after a while. This way I could just relax and just bounce the two fingers or three fingers over that nice and smooth. Okie dokie. So our pa sound is our dry sound. Take your drum in your hand like that. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, and it's in the center, just around the center, just the pads, just a little pop sound. Don't stiffen up the wrist because uh, it'll hurt after a while. So if you're throwing everything there and just like an octopus hand, oh. Pull it out, and in the last second, it's gonna come out. And it's dry. And the harder thing to do is going from doom to pa. Doom, pa, doom, pa, doom. Two dooms. Doom, doom, pa. So bouncing, and then just dropping it on the pot and dry. So wet, wet, dry. Doom, doom, pa, doom, doom, pa. Awesome. We're gonna jump into some call and responses. So get yourself a drink of water. We're gonna do a little relay. I'm gonna play a rhythm and then you're gonna follow me. This won't be written down. Then after that, we'll do all written down stuff. So get a sip of water. How's it going out there, Brandy? Everybody's happy and ready. There's no real questions. We can just carry on with our call response. I think they're doing great so far. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna put dooms and text and pause together. Over on, on our, so we're going to combine the rhythm building blocks with the tones and strokes and just come up with some spontaneous rhythms and then we'll go into stuff written out. All right, our pulse. So we're engaging the whole body, our feet, back and forth. All right, our count. One, two, three, four. And we're going to start off with subdivisions of 16th notes because those covers quarters and eighths. They don't cover triplets. We'll shift the triplets when we get there. All right, but now it's going to be 
So feel that gear going, just with, you know, there's the side to side, there's the up and down, and tick, 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 tick. One more bar, then follow me. Good. Let's do this. Doom, doom, tech, and then doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, tech, doom, doom, pa. Bass, bass, edge, bass, bass, mute. And let that tech ring. Two more. Doom, doom, tech. Awesome. Let's do some eighth notes like this. Teka, 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 pa. Teka, 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 pa. Teka, 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 pa. One and two and three and four. One more. Good. Let's try sixteenth notes like this. Teka, 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 pa. Teka, 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 pa. Teka, 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 teka. Are you breathing? Lifting up the sternum, relaxing the shoulder blades. One more time. Teka, 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 teka. Good, let's change the third beat like this. Teka, 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 doom, doom, pa. Teka, 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 doom, doom, pa. Teka, 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 doom, doom, pa. One more. Teka, 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 teka. Let's switch that around a little bit. Doom, doom, teka, 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 pa. Doom, doom, teka, teka, teka. Remember the count? One and two, e and a three, e and a four. One and two, e and a three. One more time. Doom, doom, teka, teka. Great, let's try this variation. Doom, doom, teka, teka, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, teka, teka, doom, doom, pa. Keep going. Teka, teka. What if I'm playing the djembe? We'll go doom, doom, teka, teka, doom, pa. You can play the pa with the other hand. Teka, teka. Tekas are just more of the open tones. The bass tones are here. Good, one more. Good, let's try this one. Doom, doom, teka, tek, teka, tek, pa. Doom, doom, teka, tek, teka, tek, pa. Doom, doom, teka, tek, teka, tek. One more. Doom, doom, teka, tek, teka, tek, pa. A little different. Doom, doom, tek, teka, tek, teka, pa. Doom, doom, tek, teka, tek, teka, pa. And doom, doom, tek, teka, tek, teka, pa. Doom, doom, tek, teka, tek, teka, pa. One more. Doom, doom, tek, teka, tek, tek. Let's try this one. Teka, teka, doom, doom, teka, teka, pa. Teka, teka, doom. I hope you're saying it as we play it. Teka, teka, doom, doom. Teka, teka, pa. Open up the shoulders. Remember your count? One, two, three, four. One more. Let's try this one. Teka, doom, teka, doom, teka, doom, pa. Teka, doom, teka, doom. Now if I'm a righty, it's going to go right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, 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 left, right. What if you're a lefty? It's left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. One more. Teka, doom, teka, doom. Good. Let's try this variety. Doom, teka, teka, tek, teka, teka, pa. Doom, teka, teka, tek. Teka teka pa. Two more. Doom teka teka tek. Teka teka pa. One more. And let's learn our break number one. This is break number one. Teka teka pa. Then teka teka pa. Then teka 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 pa. Again. Teka teka pa. Again. Then three teka teka is teka 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 pa. Two bars of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more. Teka, teka, pa. Teka, teka, pa. Teka, 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 pa. All right. So, like, let's put all that together with a basic way of uh, reading something. This is going to be our cell patterns number one. So, some of you, every week I create a new Dropbox link. Uh, it just doesn't matter that it's Dropbox, but you just get into it. And, and each week they're different. And then they stay like that forever. So we have some from a year or two ago, and they're always live, unless something happens to the internets and we 
whatever comes down, but they're all up there in the lovely cloud, so you could always access them. A lot of people, they take them down, download them to their computer, whatever you want to do, it's fine. It's, they're not huge file sizes, they're pretty small. So I'm gonna go to cell patterns. Uh, did I do everything up until there? I did. Cell patterns, number one. Trying to be organized today. Thank you. So you'll see on top, if you read musical notation, um, oh, that thing might not be uh, hooked up. We have another screen in here. You see that plug over there? That's gotta go into here. Sorry, folks, we were almost together. Yes, let's make sure you get it in there good. What's they say? Let's see if that works. Wake up! Oh, everything has shifted, but it's okay. You're worth it. It's not a shift to telly, but you're worth it. It is a shift to telly, actually. It's a rhythm. Inside joke for all you rhythmatists out there. So you're going to see the top part I wrote, like traditional notation. Those are eighth notes, right? One and two and three and four and. So for, the, for these purposes and most of the music I write for these classes, each cell is a, is a pulse, right? And there's four pulses. For this one, it's in 4-4. Four so if you look at the very first line, these are, when I say it's a two-cell pattern, doom ka is just a one cell. doom ka. And you can do that all in the line. doom ka, doom ka, doom ka, doom ka. But we have four cells, and each one would be the foot. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And let's do each line four times. So very slowly, that first one would be this. And uh, you just use the first letter of each syllable to get it there, right? So it's doom ka te ka doom ka just over and over, just to practice those strokes. And it's also good to use your eyes to practice reading it. This is a different kind of reading. It's not like reading words. It's a call to action. It just tells you what to do when. So let's do these. We're going to do them. We'll do them. Should we do them four time each or two time each? What are you feeling, Brandy? Survey says. <laughs> I'd say four. Four, 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 and we won't go back. Well, actually, we will in a different way. I'll show you how. All right. So pulse. Get your feet. The count is one, two, three, four. That's all happening in the subdivision. is eighth notes. Let's do the first line. Here we go. And do ka te ka do ka. That's one whole time. Second time. Ka. So we're doing each line four times. And again. Ka te ka doom ka te ka. One more. Let's do line number two. Here we go. And doom ka pa ka doom ka pa ka. All the hands are just alternating. Okay. Don't forget to breathe. Relax the shoulders. One more time. Doom ka pa ka. Number three. And te ka doom ka te ka doom. So you've played this pattern before, but the one is on the doom. Now it's on the tech. It's one and two and three and four and one. Make your drum sing. Number four and tech ka pa ka 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 tech ka. You're just getting used to the hands playing in those spots and making those tones. The fifth line. Paka doom ka, paka doom ka, paka doom ka, paka. So we're just running through all the variations. Doom ka, paka. Actually, there's a lot. Not an infinite amount, but a lot. Number six. And paka te ka, 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 paka te ka. Good. Feel that? Ready and stop. So what if we just did each one of those? Since there are two cell patterns, let's do one time each time. You could also do two times each time. You can do that on your own. You could go back and look at any of these videos. This will stay live as long as YouTube is alive. So for that long, and that might be infinity. And and you can do you could look at you could do them at twice as fast in the little gear settings on the bottom. You can do it three-quarter fast, half speed, so you have the variety of doing that. I sound a little warbly at half speed, but my kids like it. So we'll take it a tiny bit faster. Actually, we'll stay the same since we'll do it one time each line, the first six lines. Okay, there's four for nothing. Un, deux, trois, quatre. And doom, ka, te, ka, doom, ka, te, ka. Line two, doom, ka, pa, ka, doom, 
ka paka three teka chunka teka four teka paka teka paka five paka dunka paka dunka then paka teka paka teka that's actually a lot in some ways we were playing much harder rhythms for the call and response but to see it and you're integrating different ways let's do that one more time one two Ready? Line one to six. Doom ka te ka doom ka te ka doom ka pa ka doom ka pa ka te ka doom ka te line four te ka pa ka te ka pa ka five pa ka doom ka pa ka doom ka then pa ka te ka pa ka te ka sweet. Let's do these four four cell patterns. All right. So now the whole a whole four cycle is going to take to change to create to come back to the one. These last ones were just half a bar each, half a measure each, two beats each. So you would repeat it. You would repeat it within a measure. So seven is going to be doom ka te ka doom ka pa ka. All right. Let's do each one four times and do seven through ten. A one, two. You know what to do. And doom ka te ka doom ka pa ka. Ka te ka doom ka pa ka. Relax into the tone and just breathe a nice ridge. Doom te doom eight. Doom ka te ka pa ka te ka doom ka te ka pa ka te ka one and two and three and four and doom ka te. Beautiful number nine and te ka. Back to seven, two times each line. Doom ka te ka doom ka pa ka doom ka te ka doom ka eight. Doom ka te ka pa ka te ka doom ka te ka pa ka nine. Te ka doom ka te ka pa ka te ka doom ka te ka and then ten pa ka doom ka pa ka. on your own you could just do them now while you're waiting to be flip the page for me to flip the page you can just do them one each time and you could do it as fast as you want what if you want to do each one one seven through ten faster right so then it becomes like sight reading and you really have to focus on all that stuff you know going through it So and of course you and then it just gives you the ability to improvise, right? Now let's mix it up so we're not just doing uh, alternates on the second page, Brandy. And of course that is a great exercise to do with a metronome. Metronome. And if you don't have a metronome, just call me up. I'll come over with my cowbell. There are also lots of great metronome apps that you can put on your phone and have a metronome with you all the time, especially when you're driving in the car and want to play the steering wheel. Yes, we all love our steering wheels so much. <laughs> They're all worn out. So let's do the, since I feel like we're getting good, and let's just move on these ones. Let's do, of the two cell patterns, let's do each one of these. We'll go a little quicker down these ones. They're a little interesting because there's so much more we want to do, right? So two times each line, one through six, one through six, one through six. This is the second page, the ones that doubles. Cool. Here we go. All right. So one, two, ready, play. Doom, doom, ka, ka, doom, doom, ka, ka, doom, doom, ka, ka. Good. Number two and tech, tech, ka, ka, tech, tech. Try to make them sound even if you can. Number three, pa pa ka ka pa pa ka ka pa pa ka ka. 
number four and doom ka ka doom doom those are inverted doubles doom doom ka ka doom doom number five tech ka ka tech tech ka ka and one and two and three and, and six pa ka ka pa pa ka ka pa pa ka ka pa let's go back to one one time doom doom ka ka doom number two tech tech ka ka tech tech three pa pa ka ka pa pa ka ka doom ka ka doom doom ka five tech ka ka tech tech ka ka tech pa ka ka pa pa ka ka yeah those are tongue twisters if you like some of those like if you like number four and you're giving a hard time slow it down you might have to just tap it with one foot whatever you gotta do to get it first it's doom ka ka doom doom and sometimes you just have to get what the hands are doing so if you're just playing on your lap and you're just sitting on your bus doom ka ka doom doom ka ka oh it's that or it's left right right left left right right left left it's not left left right right where the double is on each note it's on it's inverted that way and that's what makes it tricky and then you can just do it ka, ka, doom. and then once you get it you could set it on different metronome setting or whatever or turn them into 16th notes doom ka ka doom doom ka ka but that's a really useful little cell pattern to learn and then you just change the hands to the tone, tech, tech, and so on and so forth. So let's do the last part of these, the four cell patterns, okay? The first one, seven through 10, doom, doom, ka, ka, tech. These are great, four times each, and then we'll go back to the, to the it and just do one time each. All right, seven through 10. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Doom, doom, ka, ka, tech, tech, ka, ka. Go back to seven, um, one time each. Doom, doom, ka, ka, tech, tech, eight. Doom, doom, ka, ka, ba, ba, nine. Doom, ka, ka, tech, tech, ka, ka, doom, pa, ka, ka, doom, doom. Tricky, seven again. Doom, doom, ka, ka, tech, tech, ka, eight. Doom, doom, ka, ka, ba, ba, ka, ka, nine. Doom, ka, ka, tech, tech, ka, ka, doom, pa, ka, ka. You could take that to town, right? And you could invert them and change them around, whatever works for you. And there's more on that, but we're gonna let that one go. And a lot of these rhythms, we're not just gonna do eighth notes and not just sixteenth notes. It's going to be a combination. So we're going to do right now our cell patterns number four. And maybe we just do a page of this. And on your own, you can do other stuff. So let's just do, let's just dip dabble in this one a little bit. All right. So this first one. And I have lots of these. I have so many things. I think we've, in the last just year, we've come up with 150 files um, of music notation. And sometimes they're just little rudimental things and nuggets and cell patterns. Other times they're long phrases. And then we have long compositions. So we'll try to get into all that tonight. All right. Um, so the first one is long, short, short, or eighth, sixteenth, sixteenth. So where does that fit into our schematics? You have to be feeling all the 16th notes. You always break it down to the smallest element you have, right? So it's always going to go, just try it on one hand and don't even think about it so much. What is it? Right, dun, 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 dun. But feel it with the feet if you can. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Good. Let's do number one. Here we go. It goes doom, teka, doom, teka, doom, teka, doom. Tekka, tall notes are louder. Tekka, doom, tekka, doom. You just feeling that? Tekka, doom, tekka, doom, tekka, doom, tekka, doom. 
Nice. Number two. Same sound, but you go. Doom, kaka, doom, kaka, doom, ka. So if you're righty, it's right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. If you're lefty, it's left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Let's do number three and tech, 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 tech. So the tech is long and that's long. The tech, 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 tech. Feeling it? Don't forget to breathe. Let's do number four and tech, kaka 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 tech, kaka. You get the idea, right? You start to not think about it and feel it all. Let's five and pa, tek a pa, tek a pa, tek a pa. This one's a little bit harder, you gotta reach. Don't be lazy when you're playing the pa, tek a pa. And nice and light for the tek, pa, tek a pa, tek a pa. Number six and pa, kaka pa, kaka pa, kaka pa, kaka pa. Right? Open up your wrists, lift your sternum, don't forget to breathe. Ready for a seven? It's different. Ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom. Nice ka if you can. You might need to snap it. Ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom, ka. Counting one, two, three. Number eight. Ka, tek, tek, ka, tek, tek, ka, tek, tek, ka. Set if you have a bunch of drums. Ka, tek, tek, ka. Number nine. And ka, pa, pa, 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 ka. Ka, pa, pa, ka, pa, pa. Ready and. So obviously, you just you could do it at any speed, any you know, any tempo, and just play it one time each would be the ultimate one. Let's just do a few of these, all right? Because these are interesting, too, uh, on the next one. And then, because these are going to be used so much in, the, in some of the rhythms that we do. So it's good just to have them inside of yourself, all right? And I could easily skip the, the whatchamacallits, but I think we're just going to do it. And for this one, let's do two, just, just for the, the breeze of it, let's do one through... Uh, we're going to do 1 through 12. All right, can you see all of them over there? Yes, good. 1 through 12. Now, this one we'll do two times each. We're not going to do any faster, if anything, slower, because you just have to process it. Two times each. All right, 1 through 12, second page. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Doom, tekka, tek, tekka, doom, tekka, tek, again. Doom, tekka, tek, tekka, doom. Great, number two. Doom, kaka tek, kaka doom, that's it. Kaka doom, kaka tek, kaka doom. Number three. Doom, teka pa, teka doom, teka pa, teka doom, teka pa, teka doom, teka four. Doom, kaka pa, kaka doom. In some ways, this is harder or this is easier, having the doubles, right? Five. Tek, teka doom, teka tek. Tekka doom, tekka tek, tekka doom, tekka tek. Six, tek kaka doom, kaka tek, kaka doom, kaka tek, kaka doom. That is it, you got it. Then tek, tekka pa, tekka tek, tekka pa, tekka tek, tekka pa, tekka tek, tekka eight. Going tek, kaka pa, kaka tek, kaka pa, kaka tek, kaka pa, kaka. Good. Nine pa teka doom teka pa teka doom teka pa teka doom teka pa ten pa kaka doom kaka pa kaka doom kaka pa kaka doom get into the trance eleven pa teka tek teka pa teka tek teka pa teka tek teka pa tek and twelve going pa kaka tek kaka pa kaka tek Kaka pa da da, tek sing pa kaka tek kaka. 
Now, you might have a hard, little bit of a hard time going through some of that at theirs because your mind is like, what is it? This is that. And that's why I have them both ways. But it's all going in there. So just shake your head a little bit. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. That's for people who've been playing for a while. You know, that might even be a challenge as you're like moving through them. But it's okay because a lot of so much of the time we just freestyle and we go through different things and so on. And there's more. If you download the file and there's actually a third page and there's so much for you to do. And the for you know, it goes doom, teka tek, teka doom, teka pa, teka doom. Just combining different cells of the same exact rhythmic cycle, but just changing the tones makes a cool beat. Right? Still going long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, sugar, doom, teka tek, tek. You've probably played that a bunch of times in your life. It's not an uncommon beat, but to see it written out and see what the heck are my hands doing? But now you know you have a correspondence and throwing the synapses through your neurons and all that because you're all super geniuses out there. All right. If there's no questions, I'm going to make sure I'm on the right swing of things. We're going to take some of these. This is, these are 90-minute classes. This is no joke. We're doing it, though, and you're doing it. If we're doing a live class, this is the time when I ask folks, does anybody have a good joke? Um, um, so if you have a good joke out there, just tell it to your neighbor, your friend, or Chad. It has to be, it has to be appropriate. This is an all-ages environment over here, so, so be cool about it. I'm going to make this one bigger. We are going to do our Middle Eastern rhythms with our medley track. And in recent history, we've been um, adding some melody tracks so that we're not just drummy, drummy, drummy all the time. There's a, there's a purpose to this because all these, these, these very common Middle Eastern rhythms, these are like a basic set right here. There's four of them, and then there's two breaks. We learned one of the break already in the in the call and response, and we'll learn the other one in a second. But these are all common rhythms, and it makes more sense when there's some kind of music happening behind them. So I wrote some out, and they're on a file, and we can play them slow or medium or fast, and um, so it's cool. So you're going to see now this first, uh, let's actually look at break number two, so you see how that was written with 16th notes. We haven't read anything with full 16th notes. We had the, uh, the dun, 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 dun. But remember break one we did in the call response? It went teka teka pa, teka teka pa, then teka 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 pa. I think that's pretty easy to look. Let's do that two times. I mean, what you see is kind of what you get this way. A one, two, break number one, which is teka teka pa, teka teka pa, teka 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 teka. One more time, teka teka pa, teka teka pa. Teka 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 pa. Good. And it's sibling, it's break number two. Still has the teka tekas, but we're having dooms now. Let's do this one slower. It's gonna go teka teka doom doom again. Teka teka doom doom. Then teka doom teka doom teka doom pa. We actually did that in the con response. Dun dun dun. Somebody was thinking ahead. So let's do break two two times. One, two, t -t -t three, t -t -t Four, teka teka doom doom, teka teka doom doom, teka doom teka doom teka doom pa again, teka teka doom doom, teka teka doom doom, teka doom teka doom teka doom pa. Perfect. Let's do these other rhythms. I think it's going to be fine. Then we're going to do it with a melody like in three different speeds: slow, medium, and fast. We're even going to try to do it stepping, because usually on our, in our classes we try to step, because that puts it into a whole different level. You're not just doing, you can either step back and forth, or you can do a box, box step, and the choice is yours. So melody, melody it's one of the most common Middle Eastern rhythms. It sounds like a maksum just about, if you know that one, but we're going to stick to melody today. The first cell, two dooms, easy peasy. Got it. Second cell, teka tek. That's another silk pattern which I didn't show you. There's only so much we can do in one class. So instead of long, short, short, it's short, short, long. Let's try that one. Second cell. Teka, tek, teka, tek. Accent, second tek. Teka, tek, teka, tek, teka, tek. Great. What if you loop beats one and two? It goes doom, doom, teka, tek. Doom, doom, teka, tek. This beat one, beat two. Great. Awesome. Beat three, you did that. That was the one of the very first things in our cell pattern of the four. It's doom, teka. Remember that? But now we're going to go to a pa. So beats three and four, three and four, are going to go doom, teka, pa. Doom, teka, pa. Got it? Doom, teka, pa. Doom. And make sure you're always singing it. Doom, teka, pa. Great. Doom, 
Let's play the whole thing together. Let's sing it two times, then play, because you really got to get it internally. Feet, the count, right? Here's the count over here. Let's sing melody going doom, doom, teka, tek, doom, teka, pa. Doom, doom, teka, tek, doom, here we go. And doom, doom, teka, tek, doom, teka, pa. Doom, doom, teka, tek, doom, teka, pa. If you played this before, you could add a tek at the end. Doom, teka, pa, teka, doom. Don't worry about it, just play what's written. Doom, doom, teka, tek, doom. Let's do one more. Now you keep the pulse the same, and then you go to break number one, which is teka, teka, pa, teka, teka, pa, teka, 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 pa. Good. I'm not going to overdo this one, because let's do it with the music. I just want you to get the nuts and bolts of how it goes, then we'll be able to go to the next level of it. Shift to telly. It has syncopations. How is this going to go? So for right now, instead of over-explaining it and tell you how it's syncopated, you can see the second beat is empty, right? It's doom, ka tek ka tek doom, doom, pa, right? Dun, 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 dun. If you play that with one hand, dun, 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 dun. It's almost easier. Try that. Tek, 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 doom, doom, pa. One more. Doom, tek, 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 tek. Now if we split up the hands, it goes like this. Doom, ka tek ka tek doom doom pa doom ka tek ka tek you really have to feel the subdivisions again doom ka tek ka tek doom doom pa one more and then break number 2 which is tek ka tek ka doom doom tek ka tek ka doom doom tek ka doom tek ka doom Try that one more time. Teka teka doom doom. Teka teka doom doom. Teka doom teka doom teka and stop. You're doing really well. Mouse moody. It's an eight beat pattern. Two bars of four or eight beats, however you want to look at it. First beat's easy. Doom. Second beat's easy. Doom. Third beat, teka teka. Fourth beat, tek. So the first four beats go doom, doom, teka, teka, tek. That's easy. Doom, doom, teka, teka, tek. Now the next part, we did this in the call and response, but we did it without the accents. Without the accents, because you see those cars give it the swing, it's going to go doom, teka, teka, tek, teka, teka, pa. Just sing it. Doom, teka, teka, tek, teka, teka, pa. Doom, teka, teka, tek, teka, teka, pa. Doom, teka, teka, tek. Let's swing the ka, going like this. Doom, teka, teka, tek, teka, teka, pa. Doom, teka, teka, tek, teka, teka, pa. Uh, doom, teka, teka, tek. So let's look what's happening there. If you just play those five notes, teka, teka, tek. Back in the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's crucial to do on the teka, teka, tek. Or end with the pa. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Let's do the whole mass moody. All right? A one, two, eight beat rhythm. Doom, doom. Teka teka tek. Then doom. Teka teka tek. Teka teka pa. That's it. Doom, doom. Teka teka tek. Then doom. Teka teka tek. Teka teka. One more, doom, doom, teka, teka, tek, then doom, teka, teka, tek. Beautiful. What if we do our malfoof right now? So the malfoof is going to be, it's like the first two beats of the shift of telly, and that's it. A basic malfoof can just be those first two beats going doom, ka, tek, ka, tek. You could just do that over, over and over all night long, or doom, tek, tek. Tech, tech, but me, uh, make sure you accent the second one. Uh, 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 uh. That's also one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. A very common nugget of a rhythm from around the world. The next half is doom, ka, pa, ka, pa. Doom, ka, pa, ka, pa. Doom, ka, pa. Right? 
that make sense? Doom, go, pa, go, pa. Put all to, so both together would go. Doom, ka, tech, ka, tech. Doom, ka, pa, ka, pa. Doom, ka, tech, ka, tech. Last set of breaks. Break number one goes like this: Teka teka pa, teka teka pa, teka teka teka. And then you jump to break number two: Teka teka doom doom, teka teka doom doom. Great. And then you repeat that cycle one more time: Teka teka pa, teka pa. I'm gonna do it with the music because it's just too much drummy right now. We need some music in there. And we'll play our file, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it through the same sound source that you are listening to right now. If Brandy, if everything's cool, I'm just going to finish off with this one. Let me give. So we'll hear. Um, uh, are we going to do this one? Yes, we will. All right, ready? We're going to hear four beats of nothing, and then we'll switch it back to our rhythm. Are you ready? You need a deep breath first. Need a potato chip or a cheese puff or a raw carrot or. Whatever you eat or don't drink or so on, with kombucha. Here we goes. Oh, one, two, bella D and doom, doom, tek a tek, doom, tek a pa, doom, doom, tek a tek, doom, tek a pa. We've been playing for a while, free free to embellish wherever you want. Tick a tick, doom, tick a pop. Doom, doom, tick a tick, doom, tick a pop. Doom, doom, tick a tick, doom. There you go. Here comes break number one. And tick a tick a pop. Tick a tick a pop. Tick a tick a tick a tick a tick a one more time. Tick a tick a pop. Tick a tick a pop. Tick a tick a tick a tick a tick a shift the tally and doom, ka tick a tick. Good job. How does that feeling? While we're getting ready, we're going to do some stepping. And let me show you how our stepping works in this class. All right? So you can use a different drum. You could use the same drum. You could use a book, a pizza box. If you just want to hunker down with what you have, because that just seems so much right there, right? You can just sit down and do it. But for those who like to hold their, their uh, frame drums, we're going to do a, a different type of thing. 
Brandy, are you cool? Is there anything you need to say while people get their drums? Well, it looks like the number has stayed pretty steady throughout, but in case people are coming and going and anybody is joining us uh, kind of at this midway point. Oh, I guess we're a little bit, we're more than midway. We're yep. two thirds. Uh, so if anybody is joining us later, I just want to say welcome to World Percussion and Rhythm with River Gregorian. And uh, the level one class, this particular class tonight, because it's free, we are just covering all kinds of basics, which in the world of drumming is also called rudiments. That is a fancy vocabulary word for you for drumming basic concepts. Uh, so we're covering some of those basic concepts and musical theory. So, uh, you know, maybe you've played a really long time, but you just didn't know some of these words that people have used to mean very specific things. Um, so we've talked about the concept of measures and cells making up measures and measures making up beats. So um, yeah, so tonight we're covering a lot of that kind of stuff and we usually have more time to spend on these rhythms like what we've done in the last few minutes and River makes these great musical accompaniments to go with them so that you get to really grow your vocabulary <laughs> of rhythms from around the world uh, and how to use them, how to understand them, how to apply them to melody. Um, so the level one class is usually a little bit harder than what it is tonight. Um, it's usually meant to be for someone who already knows those basics, but you can play this video as often as you like until you know those basic concepts inside and out and upside down and can play them forward and back and then you can play with us whenever you want. And um, yeah. yeah, so we have these live stream classes every Wednesday. We have the level one class, which is sort of like beginner through intermediate, and then we've got a level two class, which is intermediate through advanced, and sometimes very advanced. And we are going to start that class tonight at seven. It's also gonna be free tonight, but uh, you, can, you can join the live streams by purchasing them one class at a time. You can purchase them as an archive after the fact for half price, or you can pay the full price so that you can utilize the chat on the side where you can ask questions in real time and get an answer or get the instruction adjusted. Um, so Or get a subscription. Or get a subscription. Rima will set you up with a subscription, and you save a little money that way, and then you don't even have to go through our website every week. It just magically comes to your email box. Um, and basically, whenever you purchase the classes, you get a PDF sent to you that has these URLs, because they are normally unlisted URLs. And so you would normally have to know the secret URL in order to find the class. But this one will be free forever. Watch it as often as you like. Tell your friends about it. Play along every day. And happy drumming. Happy drumming. And so let's practice our stepping. What does that look like as I was playing that rhythm, right? Just that malfu rhythm. That's going to be one of the harder ones. First, it's click, click. You're still feeling that thing. And it's not just from one side of the body. So now we're going to do a box step, right? So your box step will be, uh, 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 uh. One, two, three, four, right? So a, a, a good thing to do just to practice first, let's just go tech, ka, tech, ka. Wait a minute. You might not know how to hold the drum. Hold on. So you take your non-dominant hand, you relax it, you lift it up like here, not from your elbow as if like... Um, you kind of, you're just lifting it up this way, down, down, this, right? Not like this. And then the, the weight of the drum is going to go right there on the top of the, you're going to shake somebody's hand, and it's just right there. And then the thumb is going this way, keeping it from going that way. And you could use these two fingers for a freehand style, and your doom is basically the same way. You can do it this way or with your thumb. Of course, when we get more fancy, you're going to have to pivot and put like 10, 20% of the weight on your thumb and pivot this way. And then you can do your doom also with all the four fingers. Notice how I'm rotating it or the ring finger that way. That's in all the tone, the, the, all these things are in the tones and stroke video, which is also on that online classes page. And then the pa, you can just drop it. You can play freehand style this way by dropping it or just rotating it that way. Right, so if our pulse is over here, Right, like this. One, two, three, 
four. Let's just practice getting tex and cos together. Tec. So each one is with a foot, same hand with the same foot. Tec, ka. But nights, life's not always so generous that way. You might do eighth notes going tec, ka, 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 tec, ka. But if you do sixteenth notes, tec, ka, 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 tec, ka. Great. Let's do a tec, ka, tec, ka, pa. Tec, tec, pa. Tec, tec, pa. Tec, tec, pa. Tec, how do tec, tec, doom? Tec, tec, doom. Tec, tec, doom. Tec, tec, doom, doom. Tec, tec, doom, doom. Right? Let's try break number two with a stepping like this. Tec, tec, doom, doom. Tec, tec, doom, doom. Tec, doom, tec, doom. Tec, doom, pa. Tec, tec, doom. Hit it kind of quickly, but just if that all just seems crazy, just sit down and play the drum, right? But if or, or if not, just watch and go back and forth. Let's try that same thing we did stepping, all right? And we're gonna step in the same time. You ready? Four bar, two bars for nothing. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Doom, doom, tick a tick, doom, tick a pa. Doom, doom, tick a tick, doom, tick a pa. do that at any tempo. You could play this back at any speed you like. Let's go back to sitting down. I think we're going to end uh, the last 15 minutes on Blue Monk. We might be able to do the seven, but I don't know. I think Blue Monk's a good one to end. What do you think, Brandy? Unless you're feeling the seven for some reason. We improvise a lot in here. We have <laughs> Sometimes I over... I always have too much curriculum than we can possibly do. And then we got to do... The but it's good because then you come back next week and it's there and then there's still more. There's always more. It's like a candy store. 
All right, blue monk it is. You're feeling blue monk. Let's do it. You need because I like to do different styles of music. There, of course, there's Middle Eastern styles, there's West African styles, North African styles, Brazilian styles, and then I like to do jazz styles because we still live in America and it's our it's our cultural classical art music, you know, and it's the one it's the thing that's unique to this country. Now, Blue Monk is going to be based on a triplet feel. This is a Thelonious Monk song, right? Some of, some of you might have heard it. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. So now, remember we were doing the subdivisions? It's a triplet feel. Everything is based on the triplet feel, which is one, two, three, four, one, two. It's a blues. So let's see how that works on uh, on it with it, right? Let's, let's let the piece finish, finish out. One, two, two, two. You got to be able to practice in whichever combination you can, back and forth each way. There's so many ways to play triplets. All right, so let's let's do it with with the music. Our music is over here. I'm going to close this one, say bye-bye, stepping with that one. All right, so let's make it bigger for our folks in the class. We have cla people out there in Australia, and then we have people in here in Asheville. It's going to go this one. So you're b the I'll go through the two or three different ways we're going to play a triplet. This one doesn't use much alternating, right? A lot of times you're doing alternating. The very first nugget is doom ka ka. So let's just practice that. Doom ka ka, doom ka ka, doom ka ka. Right? One. Two. So the accent is on your lead hand. Sometimes you could do a tek ka ka, tek ka ka, tek ka ka. Right? The third beat is also a doom ka ka. And the fourth beat is a pa ka ka. So the hands are doing the same thing. Pa ka ka. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? That's just each cell by itself. Let's look at the second cell. And that's really the only tricky thing in here. You have a teka doom doom, right? So then if you're righty, it's right, left, right, right. Instead of just right, left, left, right, left, left all night long, it's teka doom doom. If you're a lefty, it's left, right, left, 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 right, left, left. So let's loop beats four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, like this. Teka doom doom ka ka, teka doom doom ka ka, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you got this, then you got the whole piece. Doom, doom, ka, ka, tek, ka, doom, doom. You can see the ka notes are ghosted. You don't need, they're, they're just there mostly for placeholders. Tek, ka, doom, doom, ka. So if you put all that together, once you have the first line, you pretty much have the whole piece, okay? Because the second line is the same. Lines one and two are the same, five and six are the same, and nine and ten are the same. So that's the, that's the basis of the piece. It goes like this. Doom ka ka ta ka doom doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka ta ka just get out of your skin it's doom ka ka ta ka doom doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka ta ka doom doom ka ka pa ka ka feel like you got it and even if you just get that you don't have to know anything else for the rest of the piece you can just play this all night long with the piece no matter what i do up here all right, number three, you had an extra doom at the end because why that sets you up for the fourth line, which is also the same as the eighth line, basically, and then the twelfth line. Okay, let's just practice the fourth line by itself. It's doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa, doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa, doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa. Let's do the third to the fourth line. One, two, three. Doom ka ka ta ka doom doom ka ka pa ka doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa again. Doom ka ka ta ka doom doom ka ka pa ka doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom. One more time. Third line. Doom ka ka ta ka doom doom ka ka. Fourth line. Doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa. All right. Then you do five six is the same. Line seven is the same. And then on the eighth line, you still go doom, ka, doom, doom, ka, doom, doom. And then you have a ka, te, ka. You have a triplet that starts with your non-dominant hand. Why? Because you want to end back up on your dominant hand of the ninth bar. 
Kateka Doom. Let's try that. Kateka Doom. The fourth beat of line nine, of line eight. Kateka Doom. Kateka Doom. And it'll make sense once you play in the piece. Then you go nine, ten is the same as one, two. One more time. And then let's try it. Let's loop 11 through 12 just so you get that. It goes Doom Ka Doom Doom Ka Doom Doom Pa Doom Doom Ka Doom Doom Ka Doom Doom. Again, 11. Doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom one more time eleven doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom perfect let's do this one at a variety of tempos let's do it slow ones feeling alright we just jump into it we have a bunch of whizzes in the house all right four for nothing un deux trois Doom ka 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 doom doom ka ka second line doom ka 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 doom doom third doom ka 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 doom doom fourth doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa five doom ka 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 doom doom ka ka pa ka ka six seven doom ka 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 doom doom ka ka pa ka eight doom ka doom doom ka doom doom Ka te ka nine, ka doom doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka te ka doom doom ka ka pa ka ka doom 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 pa doom 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 the top doom ka ka te ka doom doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka feel that swing going dun dun doom doom pa ka doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa. Then pa doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom ka te ka nine doom ka ka pa ka doom ka ka te ka doom doom eleven doom ka doom doom ka doom doom pa doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom. All right, let's do it faster because you're you're such good drummers. All right, we'll do 10 BPM faster. That was about 66. This is 74. Ta 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 ta. One ta ta two ta ta three ta 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 Should we do one more time faster? Yes. Carrie? Absolutely. We have a yes and an absolutely. What is that one saying now? Is that 94 or 84? Yeah, this, is that too fast? No, yeah, that is. That was a big jump. Let's go to 89. That's a 90. And just play the tall notes. Right? If it feels too fast, just play the tall notes. Here we go. A one, two, three, four, two, three, two, three, Do you can 
play around with that. Of course, you can improvise. And whatever you want to do, you can play it in. You can play that all night long. Like I said, you can do you can do any of that all night long, all night long at whatever tempo. Right? Hey, Brandy, I'm still feeling, we, I know we only have four minutes left, but I feel like we might want you to throw a 78 and then just because just this won't be in there for posterity. We could introduce it. I think the people will love it. And then they'll be ready for really having fun with a 7 in the level 2 class. Yeah, because in level 2 class, we're going to do the full Hijaz Mandra, which is a really famous old Anatolian Turkish song. So, But if you look at it up here, if I pull it up, there's a sheet in your folder called 7s. Two plus two plus three, right? <coughs> two plus two plus three. And we're just going to look at really that first line. And there's two bars of seven on this first line. And the, the way we look at the sevens, you don't have to think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four. You could, you're going to think one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And the one, two is always going to be dominant, non dominant, right? Doom, ka, doom, ka. And then the one, two, three is going to be just what we did in the swing piece, doom, ka, ka, or te, ka, ka. Or pa ka ka. One, two, three, one, two, three. So there's two bars of seven in this first line. We're just looking at this first line. It's doom ka, doom ka, te ka ka. And they're even. It's not a triplet. It's not like going doom ka, doom ka, te ka ka, doom ka, doom. No. On this one, I'm going to show you next class how to keep the pulse together. But right now, I'm going to pulse the long cell. So it's going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Get that in your system. <laughs> Let's sing the very first line. Doom, ka, doom, ka, te, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, pa, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, te, ka, ka, doom, ka, pa, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, te, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, doom. If you want to count the seven, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Easy. You could do that all night long. I think it'd be more fun to do it some music, and I just happened to transcribe the whole thing out with piano and flute and some food. Feeling that? Great. And of course, you can play that as fast as you want. So let's play it at that tempo in. Um, let me close this one out. Let's play it with that tempo. Yes, we're going to save that. Thank you very much. Where did it go? Is this is this the one? It'd be, it'd be the one. Let's do it. So we're gonna do it at that tempo. You're gonna hear four bars of seven on this one, and it should come out. And we're just gonna play. If you want to play the second line, maybe when it gets to the B section, I'll tell you to play the second line. It'll be so easy because you'll just be so ingrained in yourself. So one two one two one two three one two one two here we go doom ka doom ka da ka ka doom ka doom ka pa ka ka doom da ka ka doom ka doom ka pa ka ka one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven here comes the melody doom ka doom ka da ka ka doom ka doom ka pa ka ka doom ka doom ka da ka ka doom ka doom ka pa ka ka you 
feeling it? Uh. Doomka, doomka, decka, ka, doomka, doomka, paka, ka, doomka, doomka, decka, ka, doomka, doomka, paka, ka, doomka, doomka, decka, ka, doomka. Great. Let's try number two if you're feeling it. All right. It's doomka, decka, decka, ka, doomka, paka, paka, ka, doomka, decka, decka, ka, doomka, paka. So easy. Doomka, decka, decka, ka, doomka, paka, paka. Just groove it down and sing it. Doomka, decka, decka, ka, doomka, paka, paka, ka, doomka, decka, decka, ka, doomka, paka, paka, ka, doomka, decka, decka, ka. Great. Awesome. And then you could go back to the first one or whichever one. Keep going. What if you had a tambourine and you wanted? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just a little, just a little five minutes, 70 in, just to wrap the level one up. And we went from the breathing to learning our rhythm building blocks, our tones, our cell patterns, putting them all together, learning some Middle Eastern grooves, a jazz piece, and then the seven, eight. So hope, hope that takes you somewhere. And you could keep coming back to this and uh, you could keep coming back to it like anytime you want, right? We talked about all that. And maybe we'll just groove out on a seven. If there's anything you want to say, Brandy, please feel it. And thank to Brandy on the screens. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy on the cameras. Trish here in the house. Carrie here in the house. Rima, 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 Rima all night long. And if you feel like a whiz on everything that we already covered tonight, join us at seven o'clock tonight after you take a little break. Get some food, get some water, stretch your legs, move around, breathe some fresh air outside. Uh, and then be back at 7 o'clock here on the Asheville Rhythm YouTube channel for a level 2 class. See if we can give you a good challenge. And if you want more of this to really grow your foundation in rhythm, uh, you can either contact Rima, who you see on the... Uh, on the chat there with her email address or you can go to our website which is ashevillepercussionfestival.com and sign up for classes you can do them all a cart you can do them as a monthly subscription you can do them after the fact as an archive you can do them so many ways because we love you and we want to drum with you Good night.